I'm Simon Shaykat. It's Sunday, April 25th, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. We begin with tragedy out of Iraq. That's where at least 82 people are dead after a massive fire at a hospital in Baghdad. More than 100 others are injured. The Iraqi Rights Commission says coronavirus patients with severe, severe conditions are among the victims. Witnesses say it started when oxygen tanks exploded last night. Video from the scene shows firefighters working to put out the flames as workers evacuated patients. And right here in Michigan, police say a two-month-old baby is safe now after he was taken from his parents on Detroit's east side. Investigators say it happened last night on East Jefferson. We're told a gunman carjacked the couple while that baby was in the back seat. Police say the baby in the car turned up in an alley near Crane and Canfield. The baby is now safe. Again, with parents, police say a 35-year-old suspect is in custody, and it's someone the parents happen to know. Tomorrow, Michigan's mask mandate will be expanded to include children ages 2 to 4. The children will be required to wear masks in all public places. That includes daycare centers and camps. The health department says the face coverings will help slow the spread of COVID in younger children. Temperatures today and tomorrow cooler than average. We'll have highs only in the 50s. And then a warm front will bring in much warmer air on Tuesday. High of 83 degrees, showers and storms on Wednesday. And then we'll be back down into the 60s for highs by the end of the week.